Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, so uh, in this video, uh, we will uh, solder the components which uh, I've got over here from uh, Marcer, including the FCDI chips, a couple of them. Uh, I received in the meantime also uh, the PCBs from um, JLC PCB. Uh, see it over here. I'll uh, show them to you uh, later on in uh, uh, more details. Uh, we'll uh, first uh, solder using the Rico oven uh, the uh, FDA chip, and uh, after that, we will uh, solder the uh, through hole uh, components uh, using a uh, soldering iron. So, uh, first things first, uh, we will uh, first uh, solder using the reflow oven the FDDI chip because this is the only um, surface mounting device that I have in this uh, design so uh, here is the PCB uh, close up uh, it's pretty simple and uh, I've got here uh, one of the uh, FDDI chips well there are a couple of different ways of applying uh, solder uh, you could apply a little bit of uh, um, solder paste on each of the uh, pins footprints uh, like so uh, it would be a very painstaking and tedious process uh, like this uh, however uh, one uh, trick is to just uh, apply a trace of paste uh, all along the pins like this and uh, hope that it will be uh, enough, yet not too much, so that uh, during the reflow, uh, this paste will uh, uh, split and, and uh, solder the FDA chips pins uh, onto the footprints, uh, while uh, uh, no short circuit between the pins uh, will be formed. So, um, I think I may have a little bit too much on that side. I'll clean it up uh, with a sharp knife. All right, so let me just eliminate a little bit of that paste that may be a bit too much on the sides. like so i think we are in pretty good shape so uh, let's just uh, use the picket tool to uh, place carefully the uh, chip this a little bit so that I have enough room to place this be careful that you place it with the right orientation all right so um, I've got uh, this microscope here which I'm gonna use to look a little bit uh, closer at uh, how I placed uh, the chip uh, on top of the solder paste and uh, I see that it's not really really perfectly aligned so I'm just gonna tap it a little bit uh, so that I will get it right on, 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 on after uh, fine tuning a little bit uh, how the chip is placed onto the paste using the uh, microscope, it is time now to uh, bake it uh, in the reflow oven that we have here uh, in the lab. Uh, so, for that, uh, you just have to turn it on from the uh, switch uh, right here 
and then uh, select a uh, temperature profile we'll just go with uh, f1 uh, but before that uh, we'll just uh, take and place uh, that uh, PCB uh, so we here place the, the PCB in the oven close the oven and then uh, select uh, F1 now this is going to increase the temperature and uh, make it follow that uh, profile uh, which uh, is going to be about uh, the reflow uh, process you'll see uh, this uh, little uh, marker that will um, indicate uh, where we're um, in the process of um, uh, reflowing. So uh, after the reflowing is done, uh, let's uh, pick it up and uh, put it under the microscope and uh, check it out uh, that everything is uh, all right. So I'm trying now to look through the microscope using my uh, smartphone and uh, it's pretty good actually. Uh, you can uh, see that uh, pretty much most of the pins have been uh, soldered quite well let me see if i can fine tune the zooming in uh, i think i've got just right here just right here two of the pins short circuited which uh, I think I will have to work out and use um, a, a sharp tip to scrap that and, and uh, cut that uh, short circuit between those two pins but otherwise um, everything uh, seems to be uh, okay all right once uh, we're done with uh, reflowing the FTDA chip onto the PCB um, we'll uh, solder the remaining components uh, that were intentionally selected uh, through whole components uh, that we uh, have listed here so we'll have to do the uh, USB connector we have here two resistors 330 ohms we have a uh, 10 kilo ohm resistors we have the red and the green LEDs a 10 nanofarad capacitor uh, we have uh, the electrolytic capacitor uh, three 100 nanofarads uh, some connectors and the jumper over here I have uh, placed uh, most of the components here but I didn't solder them yet so I placed them and then uh, this is what it looks like I'm gonna just uh, solder uh, all of them uh, so that they stay in place To solder the USB uh, port in place, we uh, uh, could use some of this uh, painter's uh, tape to attach it to the PCB so that when I uh, turn it over and I, uh, solder it, uh, it don't uh, fall. So this way it keeps it uh, snugly uh, fixed in there and uh, I could just then uh, solder it uh, uh, easier this way uh, like so
after which you can just remove the painter's tape and uh, check to see that, uh, that uh, it stays uh, fixed nicely and squarely like that. So uh, the only thing uh, that I have left uh, to solder is uh, a uh, three pin uh, header uh, which uh, I need to go grab because the one that the mouse has sent me uh, is the wrong one. Uh, the distance between the pins uh, is too small so I'm gonna grab uh, Another one from well, I'm done with uh, connecting and soldering all the uh, components as, as you can see uh, over here um, An okay job could have been better. Uh, I have the jumper that uh, we should use uh, to connect the middle pin to 3.3 volt if uh, we wanted to uh, work with 3.3 uh, voltage levels logic levels uh, like so uh, or uh, if uh, you want to work with the 5 volt uh, logic level, then uh, you'd have to connect it uh, such that the middle pin con is connected to the 5 volt logic pin. So I'm gonna uh, go and uh, wash it up with some uh, uh, flux remover. So I uh, found a USB cable, uh, which I'm gonna use to check uh, if uh, this FDDI chip is gonna be recognized by uh, my laptop. So uh, I'm gonna just plug it in and uh, plug this into a USB port of my uh, computer and I have here open uh, my uh, device manager and uh, I would like to go and see that indeed uh, I have a communication uh, com port, a USB serial port uh, if uh, you click and uh, check the properties you'll see that uh, it is an FTDI uh, chip as shown over here uh, if I uh, unplug it it'll uh, disappear from my uh, device manager list so um, looks like um, it's working